All right, what a day. The markets themselves are only down about 0.3%, but there are quite some, there's some movement under the hood. That pinging sound that you're hearing from inside of the cab of the car is a whole lot louder when you lift up the hood. Netflix, Deckers, Lululemon, Fire, MCP, have uh, all have trades today. We're, we're looking at anywhere from a couple percent to seven to 10% down. Um, MCP, down 10.7%, Rare Earth, 10.6%, uh, Avalon, Rare Earths, 9.7%. It is quite toasty out there, my friends. All right, so we actually added again to our Netflix short January 160, 155 put spreads. Uh, big surprise, I'm sure, to hear. Deckers, we added to our January 75, 70 put spreads. And we are getting to the point now in Deckers where next week if we go into next week and the stock is still below $79 we're probably going to go ahead and roll out the rest of those 80 75 put spreads that we have that are short in January we're going to roll them down and out to the 75 70 put spreads in February and then we're just going to have to wait and see what happens retail sales numbers uh, this morning came in not really as good as uh, we had hoped uh, which is what kind of set retail on fire um, a side note, Target and Walmart, please walk away. There is no trade in Target. There is no trade in Walmart. There is absolutely no reason to own the stocks, none whatsoever. They have tiny, tiny, tiny margins to, for profit in both of those stores. They sell everything. There's absolutely nothing that differentiates Target or Walmart, A, from each other, other than B, nobody will speak to you in uh, Target, and B, C, in Walmart, uh, they're supposed to have a 10-foot rule, but ever since Sam died, the company's never really been the same. But at least the people are friendly in Walmart, right? Anyway, don't buy either stock. Completely dead money, complete waste of time. The stocks don't move enough. We um, got a, a question from at TJ Takes today asking about the, um, the premium for the put spreads on Target. Even though the stock is down 7%, there's absolutely no money in selling those put spreads. Can't even get a buck for a $5 wide spread despite the 7% move in the stock because the stocks just don't move enough on a, on a daily basis in order to have volatility jump up, okay? Please, walk away from Target, walk away from Walmart. You don't have an edge. I guarantee you, unless you have inside information, which is illegal, that you don't know any more than the smart guys do on Target and Walmart. Um, you probably don't as much of them, and you probably don't have all the research behind it that they do. There is absolutely no reason to own Target or Walmart. Okay, I'm gonna get off my soapbox there. We just we have tried to be so super honest with our tweeple out there in the Twitterverse um, on Target and Walmart, and people continue to try to speculate and catch moves in the name, and the companies are just too big. There's almost nothing that they could either company could do to move the needle. Uh, they're massively, they've already expanded everywhere. They're going to expand. Even Walmart's big acquisition in, uh, I think it was Africa, really didn't do anything for the stock. Okay. Lululemon. It's basically suffering the same fate as Decker's today. The good thing about Lululemon is, symbol L-U-L-U, -L -U, it's trading about $67 right now, which means you've got $2 worth of cushion to still sell the January 6560 put spreads. Remember, they expire in 16 days. Time is really starting to get on your side with these short put spread trades. We did add to that position again today, and we added to the Februarys. Obviously, the stock could move, you know, two bucks in February. I mean, it's moving two bucks right now. So, gosh knows if you give it another month, it could move two dollars. But both companies are extremely well done. Both companies, both Deckers and Lululemon, both have differentiated products. Okay. Uh, that are only available in the retailers that they say. I think Lululemon does their own uh, retail um, outlets or stores, uh, but it's an incredibly hot brand. Both of them are very well respected. Um, we like both of them. They've got they're extremely well run, run, good balance sheets, lots and lots of cash flow. Okay, um, and we think this year is better than last year, so the consumer health continues to improve. Molly Corp now. This is about as close to Vegas as we're ever gonna get. We don't gamble, but that's pretty much what it feels like in Molly Corp. The stock is down about 11%, eh, just under 11% right now. It's actually improved since we started the show. 
the 50-55 in the money call spread. Um, it's now only slightly in the money. It used to be completely, yesterday it was completely in the money. Um, we spent under four bucks yesterday, about between 360 to 370. This morning we only paid, it looks like, on the January 50-55 call spreads, we paid 285. On the February 50-55, we only paid 260. What that did for us, we basically doubled down on our position. We had five spreads before. We now own 10 spreads, call spreads. Our cost basis is down to $2.84. As long as Molly Corp stays above $52.84, we break even on the trade. Not bad, right? 16 days left. The stock is wildly volatile. There is a gap. If you look at a chart, there's a gap on MCP, uh, I think from Monday, uh, from 50 to 52. So there's a chance that the stock could fill that. What are we doing to remain profitable on the trade? Of course, we're selling, drum roll, right? The put spreads, the 50, 45 put spreads for January. We'll, we'll look again at doing it for February. Uh, there is a massive amount of volatility and premium in these options. So. We're going to sell those 50, 45 put spreads in January expiration, try to get down to a zero cost basis, and then whatever the spread's worth, it's worth at expiration. Probably going to hold that into options expiration unless the spread trades above $4, at which point we'll probably look to take it off uh, for a profit and not hold it into expiration. But again, break even for us is now $2.84 on that spread, which means the stock has to be above $52.84 for us to be um, at least break even. Okay. Whew. Rare Earth, Avalon, Avalon. We are adding to our AVL position on pullbacks like today. Um, the shares trade for about, AVL trades for $6.66. It's basically a call option that doesn't expire. So we don't mind accumulating AVL over time uh, because the reality is Rare Earths are in almost all electronic devices, okay? Rare Earths uh, don't refer to how uh, rare they are on the earth, but the uh, locations, the number of locations around the world that you can find them. Okay, there's very few mines for where you can actually pull rare earths out of the ground. Okay, they're plentiful once you find one, it's just that there are very few of them around the world. Okay, so the story should play out over a much longer term than just weeks or days. Uh, but please, these things are extremely wild not for pregnant and nursing mothers. Um, the ride on these suckers is one heck of a ride. Okay, source fire, F-I-R-E. They made an acquisition, $20 million this morning. Actually, it was yesterday after the close for Immunet, okay? Uh, they paid 18 million up front and then, uh, sorry, 17 million up front and then 4 million over the next 18 months, okay, will we'll equal your $21 million. Look, they said it wasn't going to be accretive in 2011. In fact, it was going to be a 10 cent per share hit to earnings in 2011. The stock is down seven, better than 7% on the news. Uh, the $25 level is extremely strong in the stock. It's trading just below that right now. We did add to our common stock position in FIRE today. We also sold the January and February 20, in January we sold the 25, 22 and a half put spreads. In February, we sold the 22 and a half, 20 put spreads. We got great premium for both of those. Um, again, we added to the stock at $25. Look, they have $133 million in cash on the balance sheet and zero debt. Right now, they have about $4.77 per share in cash. If you back out the cash, um, including the money that they're going to spend on um, Immunet, uh, and you're looking at about a $20.85 for a stock price, which gets you to a PE of 27. That's extremely reasonable in the cloud space. Um, the Immunet product uh, is a cloud product that um, does security on the cloud instead of locally on a machine. Um, that's the future. They're an extremely well-run company. We like the company a lot. It's very frequent to see the acquirer get hit. But 7% is a massive move. So we like Fire. Uh, it's a great company. We're going to continue to own it for a while. And we'll just sell put spreads against it until we get down to a $0 cost basis. All right. Thanks for tuning in again uh, today. It's a wild one out there. Good luck. Uh, keep your, your seat belt buckled in. There may be some turbulence. And we'll see you tomorrow.